G'day guys, Rusty here. I'm here with Nicholas from Bullseye at Camera Systems. How are you, mate? Good, good, good. Thank you for taking your time with us. Absolutely. Now, we walked past you yesterday and we stopped because we looked, saw what you do and thought we need to get one of these. So we're going to hook one of these up shortly. But that aside, tell us about it because those guys out there may not have heard. Sure. What, what we've got is a camera, sets down range, transmits up to one mile away, back to your smartphone or tablet, and the software will show that last shot blinking every time so you can see where your last shot was. Yeah, fantastic. And you show me some features on here that not only can you see last shot, but you can actually go through yep. and like, see every shot. Yep, we can go right through and see our first shot, second shot, third shot, yeah. even an entire group, multiple groups, fantastic. all the way down to one in the bullseye. Zoom right in and see that. Yep, excellent. And one what if we've got multiple, yeah, multiple shooters? One, one, one of the things we can also do yeah. is we can go and mark the shots. So if you've got a couple shooters, a couple different firearms, yeah. mark them different colors. Go back in and measure the groups, see what the best group size is. They'll show you the different groups. Yeah, right. Other cool thing you can do is you can, if you're sighting in your firearm, we have a nice sight in mode. It'll mm -hmm. actually calculate your clicks for you. So every time you shoot, it's going to tell you how to adjust to get that bullet right in the bullseye. Yeah, very good. Another kind of cool thing we can do is if you're shooting targets that don't actually have grids or measurements on them, yeah. you can actually overlay a grid over an existing target. Ah, uh, brilliant. Yeah. yeah, so you can see how far off you are. Absolutely, even on a piece of steel or paper plate or anything. Yeah, brilliant. And then one of the cool things too about our system is that you can see how it's kind of angled because the camera sits and looks up the target, not how you see it through the scope. So, yeah. so what we did is we created our target view mode to let you see it straight on. Brilliant. Yep. Nice. One of the other things we've done is everybody likes to have a little fun when you're shooting. Once you're sighted in, what do you do? Of course. Well, what we're going to do is allow you to play some head to head shooting challenges where you can challenge your buddy and see who's the better shooter. Yeah, right. And so, you, what do you do with these ones? What you do is you, we've got these targets from Birchwood Casey yep. or targets you can download from our website, yep. print out, put them up on the target, take turns shooting, and see who's the better shot. Fantastic. I don't know if you guys might get into that. Absolutely, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Terrific. And uh, I was asking you before about uh, when we saw it yesterday, we just saw the box. Yep. And we didn't quite work out how you point it exactly at the target. Sure, why don't we go ahead and show you that. Yeah. We've got this little stand here. It's yeah. adjustable. Brilliant. Props up, let you angle that right up at the target. Fantastic, fantastic. And what are these worth? Six forty nine US. Yep. And it goes out to over one mile. Fantastic. Terrific, mate. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thanks so much. Good luck Pleasure with the rest you. of the show. All right, take Great care. To meet you. Yep. We'll get one of these organized. Yep, sounds Cheers. good. And uh, that, that looks like another really, really nice entry-level platform in that one to $2,000 range for a rifle that you can take out of the box and yes. go. So uh, the, the Ruger Precision Rifle is going to have some, <laughs> some real big comp. And pull that down. You see in here, there's a slot where that five cent piece can go. And that's it. As soon as we've taken that tension off, um, I did feel like I pulled off to one side slightly, but that's um, th that would be something that I'd have to get used to if I chose that position. Well, that's the four we run through, guys, on our Precision Fundamentals course. I'd encourage you to try.